Thursday, November 29th, 2018. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Remain standing for a prayer from Father Jeff from St. Peter's. All that God has created and sustains, all the events he guides and all human works that are good and have a good purpose, prompt those who believe to praise and bless the Lord with hearts and voices. He is the source and origin of every blessing. By this prayer, we proclaim our belief that all things work together for the good of those who fear and love God. We are sure that in all things, we must seek the help of God, so that in complete reliance on his will, we may in Christ do everything for his glory. Everlasting God, you give life to a nobler meaning when we try wholeheartedly to do your will. Fill us with the spirit of your own holiness. You want us to increase your gifts and to return them to you and to our neighbor. Accept the offering of our loving service. You watch over us with fatherly care. Hear the cries of those who trust in you. You sent your son into the world to remove the curse of sin and replace it with your blessing. And Christ fill us with every heavenly blessing. You pour forth into our hearts your son's spirit in whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Hear your children as they acclaim and praise your goodness. Through your son's death and resurrection, you have chosen us to be your people and your inheritance. Remember us in our needs and bless your inheritance. May God bless you in your work and in this meeting that you may do everything for the glory of God and the good of all in our county. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. See you in church. Thank you, everybody. Fortunately, I have to take off. I'll see you in church. <laughs> okay, so right on time. Go ahead. Um, no good worries. What was the uh, cost estimate? Uh, estimate was uh, one hundred and thirty thousand six hundred and sixty-five. <coughs> uh, you want to try to reach out to some of the folks we thought maybe would have bid on this and see why they didn't? Yeah, and I'll speak with um, Kent, Kent. as well. Okay. What, who did the? Building. Who was the engineer? Uh, Bueller Group. You got no bids. Wow. Let me give me a copy of the. Do you have drawings? Yes. Or just specs? Both. Give me a copy in okay. now or you know today. And I'll check into. I'll go get a copy then. But... Okay, so I think Jerry, we can do you next. Thank you. For the record, my name is Jerry Archibauer. I'm the executive director of the Erie County Port Authority which was created by the county commissioners in 2012 to help with economic development projects. Uh, the commissioners appoint all five board members, one of which is here today, Steve Pajali. Uh, and uh, we're here today on a, on a goodwill project. Uh, last May, we completed the issuance of up to one and a half million dollars to help goodwill finance the construction of a new retail building in Huron, Ohio. Uh, and now the project that's under consideration is in Bellevue in Huron County. And it will be a, a tax exempt uh, bond issue that would be bought by Savista Bank, which bought the May bond issue as well. Uh, and the proceeds would be used to uh, remodel an existing manufacturing plant that they have in Bellevue, uh, where they manufacture and assemble products for companies like Whirlpool. They have about 50 employees. They also wish to expand by adding a warehouse the total project costs somewhere around $2 million. Uh, the bond issue that we're proposing is $2,250,000, just to give them a little, a little cushion. Uh, we're here today because the Internal Revenue Service requires the highest applicable elected official approval. Uh, this is similar to what we asked you to do last uh, April and May before the, the other bond issue. Uh, it's a requirement of the IRS. The county is not financially responsible for for anything. It's simply uh, requesting your approval uh, to meet the IRS requirements. 
Uh, also here today is Steve Davey, who is the, the President and Chief Executive Officer of Goodwill Industries. So if you have any additional questions about his, his project, he's here to help. Uh, I'm, I'm here to answer questions on the bond issue. Uh, that's why we're here, uh, and we respectfully request that you uh, approve uh, a resolution that I believe the, the clerk has prepared. What was uh, the length of that bond issue? Uh, the length of the bond issue will be determined by the bank. Uh, it's approximately 20 years. Well, Steve, you guys did a nice job on the one in here. I was pleasantly surprised. You see it? Looks good, yeah. Yeah, yeah real nice. Performing phenomenally. Has it? Are you going to do similar, like, new type construction like that when it's all done, or is this yeah, just... Yeah, it's, it's not for retail. Oh, this uh, is a warehouse? we're doing it there is we already have a building, 68,000 square feet, and we own the land behind it. We're currently leasing warehouse space, and so we're actually paying the lease, and at the end of the lease, we have nothing. The cost to for the mortgage will be comparable to what the lease is, so at the end of 15 or 20 years, now we're gonna own something. Our strategy for that warehouse is actually, we're not hoping it's a warehouse forever. One of the reasons we're attaching it to the current factory, if we get jobs, we'll use that space for, for more jobs. Now that'll take some number of years, and then we'll worry about the next warehouse. So that, that's the advantage of having it on that site. We already have work there, and it's a great place for us to expand uh, in the future. But it'll start out as a warehouse. Mm -hmm. Good. I'd also like to point out that this is in Huron County, and so our jurisdiction as the Port Authority is Erie County, but state law permits us to enter into a cooperative agreement with any other governmental entity anywhere in the state of Ohio. So the city of Bellevue, uh, city council has already approved uh, the cooperative agreement. Uh, and the mayor has already signed off as that local jurisdiction's highest applicable elected official. Uh, our board of directors will consider this at a meeting next Tuesday, uh, Tuesday afternoon. Closing so is scheduled third, for December 10th. Third one, right, Jerry? Third one, yes. Yeah, so we did... Borders. Borders, then we did a Goodwill, and now and another this, Goodwill. Yes. So, all right, great, sounds good. We'll read the resolution now. Okay, the Board of County Commissioners of Erie County, Ohio, for the purpose of approving a $2,250,000 Erie County Port Authority Development Revenue Improvement Plan, Series 218-2018, Goodwill Industries of Erie, Huron, Ottawa, and Sandusky Counties, Bellevue, Ohio project. Second. Mr. Monahan. Yes. Mr. Old. Yes. Mr. Shenago. Yes. Okay, thanks, Jerry. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you, guys. Thanks, Steve. Pete, you want to do yours now, or do you want to go with Barb? No, I'll let Barb. Go ahead, Barb. Go ahead, Barb. <clears throat> Five minutes. Good morning. Just here to announce the sale of dog tags. Uh, 2019 dog tags go on sale December 1st and run through um, January 31st. Um, the tags stayed the same again this year, uh, which is $20. If you buy them after January 31st, it goes up to $40. So we've put out <coughs> notifications and stuff to the papers and that. Um, we sold, unfortunately, 37 tags more than last year. I say unfortunately because the girls really did a big campaign last year with signs. They went everywhere with, uh, like, campaign signs that you guys use to advertise and stuff. We made them into dog tags on sale. and. We've done posters and put them up at banks, hospitals, libraries. Wherever we went, we'd put them up that the tags were on sale and came up with 37 more tags. I don't know what the answer is for advertising. Um, you can buy them online. We have 22 agents selling our tags, including Kelly's Island. Um, they sell around 20 tags, but these people don't have to mail in for them. So it's kind of just a little bit disappointed, and, you know, we thought maybe we'd pick up a lot more than that this year, but it, it didn't happen. People are just, how I many, mean. What's your metric for figuring out how many people don't buy tags or what's your guess as to how many more dogs there are than We tags? should sell 17,000 tags because the state figures uh, one out of six people hmm. uh, own a dog. And uh, 
I hate to say it, but it's pretty much the city of Sandusky is our biggest. And we actually actually went door to door in Vermillion and picked up a few there uh, in town this year. We tried a couple different streets and places where we'd had trouble with dogs running and stuff. And I mean, I just had people say, well, what are dog tags? You know, it's, like, yeah. it, it's amazing that it's just not a, I mean, tags have been around for over 50 years. So how many, how many people during the year would you find that have dogs that don't have dog tags? I mean, do you guys find these people? I mean, is there any time when you people call up and say, hey, we got a dog next door that. Oh yeah. All every day, every day. We just went out today on another a humane complaint and right away when we check the address they have a dog there and no tag you know it's just and yeah, we used to cite everybody in the court but since our main court pretty much waivers everything um they get their court costs and we get nothing we just tell the people to come in they have to come in that day and buy it so they pay the tag 20 plus the penalty and they come in right away if they know they don't have to go to court and they buy it so yeah, we've we've done a lot of <laughs> a lot of everything trying to get people to step up, but and you get a lot of people that move. So every year we send out um, right shows. around twelve hundred reminders. This year I'm looking into, and we're going to have the IT department. We thought as a goodwill thing, take all the people that paid penalties last year and send them a notice right now, saying that if you buy it now, you'll won't have to pay the penalty thinking that maybe it'll entice people to buy them on time. I have more money at the beginning of the year to work with. So we're going to, do. We're going to try, try and do that. And uh, that's just a matter of how much it'll cost me in postage versus whether it's a good goodwill thing or not. So um, Yeah, I was just going to caution to look at that and see. Right. And I know exactly how many because our tag figures will tell me how many people yeah. paid penalties last year for their dogs. So. Uh, and a lot of those were dogs that were turned into us for rehoming and whatever. Um, so we'll have to deduct those. So just thought we'd do something that way this year. Try to get the people, because people after the 31st say, well, I'm not buying it. It's going to cost me $40. So they don't buy it at all. Come catch me. You know, with two deputies and myself, it's a little hard to canvas everybody. No. So we're doing Barb, what we when can. you first came into office, Pardon? A few years ago, how many how many dog tags were you selling at that time? Do you remember ballpark? When you did? When you first came in? When I first came yeah. in? <sighs> Let's see. As the dog warden, not, not when you first. As came. the dog warden, yeah. and not, and it's funny because I tease the girls all the time. I said when I started in '83 as the dog warden, because I worked seven years as a deputy, we sold fourteen thousand eight hundred. And we've only only hit that one time since since then. So the decline has gone, you know, it's just gone down, but that's dog ownership in apartments and rent landlords won't let people have dogs anymore. They people really I just had a lady this morning says, I'll give you any amount of money, just take my dog. I can't. I I don't want to just drop it off in the country. You know, which of course is illegal, but people do it anyway. We picked up more pit bulls out in the country this year than ever. And that's a growing problem. I can't place them. Mm -hmm. I've worked out something with the Cleveland Kennels. Uh, Cuyahoga has been real nice to me, and they have a lot more money <laughs> than I do. Ten, ten and uh, they will take some of my younger pit bulls, and they put them through training programs and rehome them from there. So we're taking four up on Monday. We meet in Elyria and do the transfer. But she's become a friend of mine, and we've kind of worked it out. Instead of having to euthanize these dogs, is they sit in our kennels and every day they're there cost me money. So you try the best you can, but it is what it is. So, any questions? Now there's a question from the from the audience. Comment? Am I allowed to comment? On dogs? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> okay. Uh, my wife in particular is a dog owner, and we are a donor, and I just think that Barb and her team with the resources that they have to Thank you so much. Oh, definitely. I didn't know you have a dog. Down to one. Usually we have a two. See, there's my problem. I want to come out and get more. <laughs> <laughs> more when pay. this one passes, we'll get at least one. <laughs> Probably two. Dogs? Well, I'm at fault. I lost my dog like six months ago, and I just haven't been able to adopt one yet. I, I, I just feel that way about my fish. <laughs> 
Be a fish. <laughs> in the pond. <laughs> what, do you have koi in there? No, the big pond. I don't know what's in there. Frogs and fish. I just love them. <laughs> I don't need tanks. Very economical. We could fix that. You could just donate. Start putting tags on the fish. There you go. <laughs> How about rabbits? Do they have to have tags? No. And everybody, yeah. every other call in the last month or so has been, why don't we them. license cats? My girl should grow up. No more rabbit. Big problem. Yeah, a rabbit. Yeah. Yeah, rabbit. We've had all of those this year. There's actually a dog shortage out in Berlin Heights, I've, I've heard. That there, there's people that are looking for dogs out there. If, Please don't drop your dogs off in Berlin Heights. We have, no? we have an elf. Dog I do. Yeah. Do you, um, when you talk about Cuyahoga, my daughter just mm -hmm. recently uh, got home for the past several years. She told me, well, at whatever time they open, there was a huge line. Mm -hmm. to get there. So I don't know if that's a potential outlet for some of yours. Well, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I know, like, probably all the dog wardens in the state, and I'm always asking them if they have room for a certain... It's funny, they might take a dog of mine, or I'll trade them a dog, and the kind that they have, I can place tomorrow. And I was up to Columbus last week and looking at their dogs. I mean, they, they probably have 14 rooms of dogs. They were at 120 their capacity. I mean, that's a lot of dogs. I think I'm full when I got 10 dogs, you know. Jeez. Anyway, a lot of dogs. I wanted to thank the board right. for the extended holiday from my group. They were very happy about it because they both have families, kids and stuff, and, uh, and the, the bonus was nice. Good. And we are, we are nominating Barb for Dog Warden of the Year. Oh. Well, I did, did get the um, I did get the award back in, what, 14? Yeah. But they kept sending stuff and says, why don't you apply? And I was like, oh. Pete was kind enough to yeah. write a few words. So. Well, that's good. I've gotten Shelter of the Year and Dog Warden of the Year before from the state. Good luck. You surely deserve it. Yes, you do. Thank you very much. Thanks, Barb. Have a great holiday Barb. if I don't see you. Yeah, Barb. Same to you, Barb. You. Pete? Okay. Um, you're going to see a travel request up there for me for December 11th to go up to uh, uh, District 5 Ohio Public Works Integrating and Executive Committee meetings. Uh, we're going to try to finalize all the Ohio Public Works issue, what I call issue two projects. Again, those are primarily small local government infrastructure projects, primarily, you know, repair and replacement type of things road repaving, replacing water lines and sewer lines type of type of things. Um, again, you know, we, we submitted roughly about, I think, 16 projects. First, we thought we were going to get funding for, for maybe half of them. Uh, then the scoring came back, uh, and I thought we were going to be down to six. And uh, luckily, we we're back to <coughs> more likely eight. Uh, one thing Steve and I did this last year was encourage the smaller governments to apply. There's like a secondary application for what's called small government programs. These are for political subdivisions or populations of 5,000 and under. And we actually got two awards under that program. So, so give an example of what you applied for. Um, well, for this small government one is... Um, Replacement of a guardrail on, on Shawmill Road for uh, Milan Township. Mm -hmm. That got awarded. Um, Good idea. Village of Berlin Heights got awarded for for repaving on Main Street. Huh. Well, well, it's not official, but it's, it's you know it's on the list and just a kind of a formality for us to for the district committee to go ahead and approve it. All right. Well, I I just caution you to not turn in your use a county car to get there, or my own or your at own no expense, but not to. We won't approve mileage. I understand that. Okay. Perfectly understood. Just thought I'd remind you. I might need reminding. Um, also, in front of you is a uh, resolution to do a uh, amendment to our budgetary policies for 2019. 
I'll be honest, kind of an oversight on my part. You know, when we we've kind of been doing this in the past, <clears throat> when we've got do minimal percentage increases, we usually do a minimum on those. Um, so we went back and took a look at that, and what we're uh, recommending is to do a, a minimum 30, 30 cent increase. Because there may be some people that, and again, it's not a whole lot, but there are some that don't make, don't make $15 an hour. So for those folks, it, it kind of helps, you know, bump them up a little bit. Good idea. We're, and we've been, again, this is, this is not new. This is something we've kind of been doing especially when times were tight and we weren't giving very big, you know, amounts. Yeah, no, it's, that sounds good. That's all I got. There's a, uh, on the docket here, there's $3,800 for furniture for a clerk. Is that about? Ti or title, I'm sorry, title. For title? Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, I really don't know. I don't remember approving that. Ready for a resolution? Show it to me. Yeah, go ahead. Resolution of the Board of County Commissioner of Erie County for the purpose of entering into an agreement with Pogemeyer Design Group. Second. Mr. Monahan? Yeah. Mr. O? Yes. Mr. Shenago? Yes. Resolution of the Board of County Commissioner for the purpose of entering into an agreement with Bonded Chemicals Incorporated. Second. Mr. Monahan. Yes. Mr. Old. Yes. Mr. Shenigo. Yes. Authorizing County Auditor to make a payment in advance of funds through an intra-fund transfer. Second. Mr. Monahan. Yes. Mr. Old. Yes. Mr. Shenigo. Yes. Uh, declaring certain items surplus in order to be discarded or salvaged. Second. Mr. Monahan. Yes. Mr. Old? Yes. Mr. Shenigo? Yes. Authorizing the county auditor to make a budget modification and supplemental appropriation. Second. Mr. Monahan? Yes. Mr. Old? Yes. Mr. Shenigo? Yes. Uh, entering into an agreement with Applied Specialties Incorporated. Second. Mr. Monahan? Yes. Mr. Old? Yes. Mr. Shenigo? Yes. Authorizing the drawing of warrants and payments amount due upon contract and order. Second. Mr. Monahan. Yes. Mr. Old. Yes. Mr. Shenigo. Yes. Authorizing county auditor to make interfund transfer. Second. Mr. Monahan. Yes. Mr. Old. Yes. Mr. Shenigo. Yes. Uh, authorizing county auditor to make budget modifications and supplemental appropriations. Second. Mr. Monahan. Yes. Mr. Old? Yes. Mr. Shenigo? Yes. Uh, entering into an agreement with Johnson Controls. Second. Mr. Monahan? Yes. Mr. Old? Yes. Mr. Shenigo? Yes. Mr. Shenigo? Yes. Entering into an agreement with Bonded Chemicals Incorporated. Second. Mr. Monahan? Yes. Mr. Old? Yes. Mr. Shenigo? Yes. I am missing. She's he's going. Okay. I'm missing two. These two. Read those two. Yeah, you yeah. have to read those two. Authorizing county auditor to make interfund transfers. Second. Mr. Monahan. Yes. Mr. Old. Yes. Mr. Shenigo. Yes. Amended the 2019 budgetary policies and guidelines. Second. Mr. Monahan. Yes. Mr. Old. Yes. Mr. Shenigo? And the table. Yes? Yes. Thank you. That's it. Pete, for this um, court smart upgrade, was this, this was approved in the budget? It's coming out of their special funds? Um, no, I don't believe so. They had talked about it. They were, they just hadn't gotten final numbers. Now they've got it finalized. And this is this is coming out of their special funds account, primarily a little bit out of their general fund budget. But now wasn't. But there, we did. But we're not giving them additional money. It was out of their existing budget. But wasn't there a discrepancy between uh, Tones and Bennett's court? They're separate, they're separate systems. 
No, I understand that, but we asked the question, why don't they both go to the same system? Remember, Tone was looking at some other, not court smart, but something else. I believe that was a discussion. It, so now, is this Tone's? No, this is mm -hmm. Burnett's. Because remember, we said, we're, we're, you know, the, why are we putting two different systems? That's two different softwares, that's two different maintenance on the softwares. Well, they would are anyway because they're separate systems. Well, but if you buy the same system, you have the same software that goes with it, the same updates with it. The contractor in both, both rooms, basically. Mm -hmm. Well, that's currently the way it is right now. Right, but remember he was looking. I, actually, he said something when we were down there that that company didn't work, that the second company didn't work out, wasn't it? Didn't he? I think he did say that. So in other words, he's going, you know, back, he's to going back to court. He's going back to court, I think so. <clears throat> so they don't need additional funding for this. He's going to take it out of his, what he's going right. to this year. Yeah, primarily out of the special projects. Because we funded an employee of the general fund instead yeah. of the special projects. So do we have any comments from the public? If not, um, I move we move into executive session. Second. Hmm? Thank you, Sandy. I get it. I get it. Thanks. So I, you did the motion? I Second. did. Mr. Shanahan? Yes, there. Mr. Old? Yes. Mr. Monahan? Yes. Make a motion we adjourn. Mr. Old? Yes. Mr. Monaghan? Yes. Mr. Shenigo? 